What is going on everyone? Tutorial Tim here at Design Academy and we're going to be going over selection. This should be brief. Uh, we're mainly just going to be discussing and overlooking examples on Material Design's website because selection uh, will be discussed heavily once we start talking about states, which is our next video in the interaction portion of the foundation section of this course. So if we go ahead and click on in our exercise file selection, it is a link that we can access. And essentially in selection, it just talks about how it refers to how users indicate specific items they intend to take action on. And when they're taking action on an item, there are several ways to take an action on an item. And we'll cover that deeply in the states portion, uh, which is the next video in this course uh, that you'll be watching next. So we're just gonna be doing a brief overview right now. And you'll notice that a lot of this documentation covers uh, interaction on mobile devices, but we're specifically going to be talking about the desktop portion. Um, but I will, uh, in in Figma when we develop, or when we create our components, but here you'll notice I touch on both uh, talking about selection in mobile and on desktop. And I would heavily pay attention to the desktop portion, although the mobile portion is just as important, if not more important. Um, and anyways, let's get started. So. On touch devices, select items require you to either do a long press touch on your device or a two finger touch, or you can utilize a selection shortcut if that is available, such as tapping an avatar. And on desktop, items with checks box, checks boxes shouldn't display their check boxes by default or permanently unless item selection is the primary activity in the UI. Instead, these checkboxes should only be displayed on hover as a single checkbox for that item or upon selection of the first item after which checkboxes are displayed for remaining items in that set. So here we can see that the user is tapping and then they do a, they're tapping to select an item. As you can see here, they were selecting that first item here and they were entering a selection mode where they selected an item, entered selection mode, and then was then tapped again to exit out of that mode. And here are some other examples as well. Uh, and so just the user selecting multiple cards. And once each item is selected, they can tap them to toggle its selection state. So the user selects all the cards individually, one at a time and then they select them again to then deselect those items. So those are all selections. And then that is another example. Here we can see another example of selection where users are long pressing and dragging across multiple items to quickly select several items at once. And you'll notice that they're selecting several items because in the top left-hand corner in the app bar, it is then updating the selection as the user is utilizing the selection by long pressing and dragging across multiple items, the items being photos in this example here. So that is a great example. And then on desktop, which is very important, it, where you'll see much more complicated variants of states, uh, you'll see that a user is making a selection on, and you'll see that on hover, it'll reveal that checkbox so he, they're now deselecting, and you'll notice that when the user hovers again, that the item reveals a checkbox, and the check, checkbox can then be clicked and clicked it once again to deselect that row, that line item. And that is very important to note. And we can also see that there are other variants of of this here documented. This is a short and sweet article. I highly recommend you reading through all of it just to briefly understand selection and we'll be covering this in depth in our next video covering states. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.